hello again friends welcome back to my channel god bless you so much for coming again today to hear what the lord would have us know um to this one person this is your prophetic word and it's going to be as brief as possible um the lord is speaking from his word today and um i pray meets you well this word came to me from this bible verse that says while men slept the enemy so tears um to this one person or to as many that it might concern um, you're slumbering quite too much <laughs> uh, you are slumbering more like you are in slumber <laughs> way too much way longer than necessary and uh, it has come to the notice <laughs> yes of heaven how did it come to the notice of heaven somebody would say doesn't God know everything yes God knows everything but when he now decides to address your matter, <laughs> that's when it has come to his notice to address your matter. <laughs> Just like the children of Israel, the Bible recorded that um, the cries of the children of Israel in Egypt came to the ear of God. Doesn't mean that God wasn't hearing all this well. Yes, that was the appointed time that he wanted to act on the, on the, on behalf of his children. So today, to this one person I'm speaking to, yes, um, this is your word today and the Lord is speaking from his word while men slept you are slumbering too much my child yes that's basically what I heard and um, this may not be for only you as I said it's basically for every one of us because there are a whole lot of things that takes our attention um, when when we should be alert <laughs> yes that state of being alert is when you are no longer sleeping but when you are awake and you are not even aware you are sleeping that's the slumbering state of man um, you are awake but you are not aware of your surrounding of your life of the things around you that should count yes that is where the Lord is bringing our attention to today uh, are you that one person who is beginning to lose touch with your environment, beginning to lose touch with things that count basically because of comfort? Yes, this comfort thing is really getting to me lately. Yes, lately I've been hearing that quite a lot. Don't let comfort, <laughs> don't let comfort be your undoing. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but don't let comfort be your undoing. It is good to be comfortable. God wants all his children to be comfortable. But now comfort is taking you into a slumbering state where the things that used to matter to you no longer matters. The things that used to concern your salvation no longer concerns your salvation. No, you're just comfortable with what you are and what you now have. And it's beginning to draw you away from your maker. It's beginning to draw you away from the things that you should pay attention to. This is the word that is coming to that one person today Let's get away from your slumbering state wake up from your slumbering state the lord would have you know that the enemy is waiting for an opportunity they are just waiting they are kind of watching yes to this one person the enemy is just is it has you in his sight in his gaze right now waiting for that single moment that you will sleep you know that single moment where you will now sleep you know like you just get off track and they will come after you. That is when they begin to sow the things that shouldn't be there into your life. And before you know it, it becomes a full-blown forest. It becomes a full-blown issue that we almost certainly get out of control. Though our God is a God that can still make things right, yes, but we should now take precaution from this word not to get it to that point. Where it becomes a prayer point, yes. Some things are easier left as um as you know the way they are than it becoming a prayer point in our life we have so many prayer points already to worry about and adding another one let comfort not bring you to that place of slumbering that gets the enemy into your camp and so tears that's the word i'm hearing for this person as much as it is for everybody word of caution a word of um awakening let's awaken our spiritual life let's awaken our prayer lives again let's awakening let's check our salvation if we are still standing <laughs> yes if we are still standing with the lord it's one thing to know you are born again it's one thing to be assured that you are born again but 
sometimes when you are too comfortable you don't know when you sleep away from the things that you thought you were he that thinks he stands let him take heed least he falls <laughs> When you think you're standing, sometimes you might have even drifted away without knowing. So this is a wake-up call for every one of us. As a matter of fact, let it not be for that one person again today. Let it be for every one of us. Let us wake up from our slumbering state and begin to focus on the things that count, the things that matter, so that the enemies will not take us unaware. I pray for us today in the name of Jesus. Any power, anything that wants to pull us away from the will of God, from the ways of God, that wants to sow things into our lives that will not amount to our heavenly race or to our walk with God, in the name of Jesus, I cast them out of our lives right now in Jesus' name every activity every distraction whatsoever level of comfort that we are in that is beginning to take a toll on our prayer lives our salvation our walk with god today in the name of jesus i blot out that agenda by the blood of jesus in jesus mighty name from this day stay awake in the name of jesus from this day Stay awake in the name of Jesus. From this day, be aware of your surroundings in the name of Jesus. From this day, receive sensitivity for your walk with Christ in the name of Jesus. This is my word to somebody today. I pray it meets you well. And I pray the Lord bless you wherever you are. And give you understanding of this word. I may not have spoken all of it that needs to be spoken. Um, but this is how it came to me. And I perceive that person that needs this word badly will get to see it. Thank you for all your support and encouragement. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.